packed considering it's the height of summer. Pot of coffee, anyone? civilized nice cup of coffee and a fruit biscuit I'm very tempted to make some cucumber sandwiches Okay, uh, evening meal day two. So uh, I'm going to do a side salad, a bit of mixed uh, leaf, lettuce, tomatoes, and uh, chicken breasts um, sliced open, a bit of Philadelphia wrapped in bacon. Just going to prep a bit of salad. So it's literally going to be kind of loose uh, leaf salad uh, with tomatoes and um, a bit of salt and pepper, and that's going to be that for a side salad. Here's our bit of mixed salad. Bought some uh, cherry tomatoes, just going to zip them in half and in they go. A bit of salt and pepper to taste and that's going to be that really. Could do with some uh, salad dressing maybe, a bit of olive right, oil. Right, so uh, let's get on with the main course. So I've got these lovely uh, chicken breasts. And all we're going to do is just kind of zip them open like that. I'm going to pack them up with some filly. And then we're going to wrap them in bacon. What could be simpler? There we go. Right, I'm going to flash fry the outsides off and then I'm going to um, bake them. But that's as complicated as that is. So all we're doing is uh, just flash frying the outside off before they go in the camp oven to be baked. But I'm uh, going to do four of those. Got some so we're just flash frying off these. Uh, so that's your uh, chicken breast with the filly wrapped in bacon, browning the outside. I'm going to put them in the camp oven to cook them off. That's the first phase. Okay, so what I've done here is just put a packet of veg in the bottom with a little bit of liquid and a little bit of oil just to keep the meat off of the bottom of the pan so it doesn't burn. So that's all that's uh, going on there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we've ended up with. So that was our chicken wrapped in bacon with the uh, filly in the middle, a little bit of side salad, um, some boiled potatoes, a bit of uh, bread, and that is our... You know, the kind of trick with a camp oven is to put some vegetables in the bottom so you could dice up a couple of potatoes, carrots, anything right in the bottom, a little bit of oil, a little bit of water, and your meat goes on top. So very simply, the vegetables in the bottom are just there to stop your meat burning. 
uh, keep a bit of fluid on it and uh, put the lid on the camp oven and that's how you would uh, kind of bake it off, bake it, steam it. Um, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, service. Wow, morning everybody. So uh, this is the end of my little camp out. I'm not sure if it's been two or three days. I kind of turned up here, got comfortable, explored the local area and had a cracking old time. Uh, as always, you know, just sort of uh, recharge my batteries and I'm going back to take on the uh, 21st century. Uh, big shakedown for the camper, so we played with the solar shower, the bed and all the internals have uh, worked really well. Cooking with gas is um, a massive step forward from the dual fuel um, Coleman's burner, although I still carry it, you know, as a, uh, as a backup. But all of the stuff has uh, been... Um, absolutely brilliant like I say you know I've recharged my batteries um, just about to kind of strike camp now and head back um, I guess this is where I say um, please thumbs up share like subscribe and if you're uh, watching on Facebook please follow any comments love to hear them. back soon